Toronto is Canada's biggest city and the fourth in North America, only behind Mexico City, New York, and LA. This is probably the most global city in the world. More than 50% of the people here were not born in Canada. Over 130 languages and dialects are spoken here. With so much going on, it's even easy to get lost and don't even know where to start. I'll try to give you some help. <laughs> I'll visit the top neighborhoods and attractions here in Toronto and show you what they're like. I hope you like. two days in town and we want to check out the different neighborhoods. Today we're only focusing on the various areas of downtown Toronto. First things first, we'll start where everything started in the old town. Here in the old town, a great way to start a day is by visiting St. Lawrence Market. They've got everything here since 1803. And now I just learned they were rated the number one food market in the world by National Geographic. When you come here, everybody says you gotta try this pea meal bacon sandwich. It's their signature dish. It's a shame that I just ate so much for breakfast and I'm not hungry at all. Let's see, maybe in the end of the visit. It's amazing the variety here, especially of meat and seafood. I've seen already all kinds of meat. Ostrich, camel, kangaroo, I've seen giant shrimps. It's amazing. the true Canadian maple syrup. Today here is a quiet day, it's a weekday, and the day to avoid of being told is Saturday. It's extremely busy. When you walk just a little bit more towards the end of the old town, you arrive at this area called the distillery. And the name refers to what I imagine you probably think about. <laughs> this was the world's biggest producer of whiskey in the 1800s. Today, it's a totally refurbished area, full of residences, but also nice shops, art galleries, and culture in general. Pedestrian Street, full of bars and restaurants. Gotta come back at night. Yeah. Right next to the old town is where downtown and the financial center are located. Here in the financial district, they have so many great restaurants, but I want to try something uniquely Canadian. So I chose this one here called Benoc, and they have this dish called poutine, which is french fries topped with cheese and gravy, and I've been wanting to try it for a while. It's my chance. That was delicious. Poutine is very different from just a just french fries topped with cheese because all ingredients are prepared together so the, the fries melt. It's really delicious, I liked it. Something great about Toronto is that here they have a whole underground world. It's actually 30 kilometers, 18 miles, of corridors connecting most of the businesses downtown, most of these buildings that you see here. This is the biggest underground system in the world. 
it's really like a shopping mall. You know, you can do everything you want here. There are restaurants, stores, um, all kinds of services. And the best thing, it's weatherproof. In Canada, when you think of sports, you think of hockey. If there's a game in town, perfect. If not, as is the case here for me in Toronto today, the next closest thing is to experience the Hockey Hall of Fame. Canada won the gold medal in the Sochi Winter Olympics in 2014. And here they have on display the winning gold puck. This is a trophy room, but the most anticipated one is over there. That's the Stanley Cup. Nice. <laughs> so they got the winning teams and the names of all players on the teams. This reminds me of my old days as a news anchor. Access power and name. This is Sports Center. Hi everybody and welcome to Sports Center. I'm Renata and tonight we begin with the Olympics and men's hockey. Overall it's been another successful Olympic Games for Canada, but bringing home a golden hockey would be the icing on the cake. Probably the most famous square in town. It's in the corner of Young and Dundas Street, and it's where everything happens. They have all kinds of events going on here. Now, for example, um, they're going to have the lottery drawing. And there's free Wi-Fi here. Right across the street, one of the best malls in town, Eaton Center. After a 10-minute walk from Young and Dundas Square, you arrive here at the Art Gallery of Ontario. This is one of the top art galleries in North America. They feature mainly Canadian artists, but there are pieces of art from several artists from all over the world. I can clearly see someone spending two, three hours there to take a look at everything that the museum has to offer. But imagine, it was founded in 1900, at the time called the Art Museum of Toronto, and it just grew, the collections just grew. And it's so amazing, you can find pieces dating back centuries, side by side with contemporary art. Very impressive. The only thing to know for visitors is that video is not allowed. Toronto, you can also get some weather forecast at the top of that building. But I don't quite get what it means because it is supposed to be green for good weather, white for snow, and red for rain. I don't see any of those colors, so I just hope that's a good sign. Tomorrow morning we're checking some other main tourist attractions in town. I hope you come with us.